guys, Ryan Reifert here with a quick update for you on the Derek Chauvin trial. Um, we have received word as of this morning that uh, a, a verdict has been reached by the jury, and it's going to be read in court between uh, 4.30 p.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern time, that's 3.30 to 4 Central. Um, so just in, you know, in, in sometime starting in the next 15 minutes or so here, we're gonna have a verdict. Um, so go ahead quick, give a, give a like, subscribe, comment, um, and let, let's talk about this a little bit. So again, I'm not a criminal attorney here, but I've been talking to a lot of these guys and I know a lot of them over my years of practice and um, the received wisdom is that a, a, a jury verdict that comes this quickly in a case with this much evidence uh, is probably bad news for the defendant, right? That, um, you know, a, a, a jury verdict with, with substantial evidence on, on, on board is uh, probably not an acquittal and, and a hung jury usually takes a lot longer. Um, now, of course, there's no guarantees in this business, but keep in mind that the prosecution's job, the prosecution has to show every single one of those 12 jurors that every single element of the case was proved beyond a reasonable doubt, right? And if there's one holdout, that can cause a hung jury and screw the whole thing up for the prosecution. Now, of course, screwing things up for the prosecution, that's the defense's job, right? They want to create reasonable doubt in the mind of at least one jury. Now, if they can persuade all 12 that he's innocent, you know, that's fantastic. But really, you can't get a conviction unless you have all 12 with beyond reasonable doubt on every single element of the crime. So they need to create one juror with one element of reasonable doubt. Now, a short jury deliberation in a case like this is probably bad for the defendant because it means that there probably wasn't a whole lot of talking. There wasn't a whole lot of disagreement in that jury room that they uh, came to a consensus very, very quickly. And in a case like this where there's so much evidence, uh, and again, there's no guarantees in this business, I could be wrong, but I can't imagine that you have 12 people in there who are all ready to acquit. Um, you know, again, we'll, we'll, we'll find out in about 15, you know, 20 minutes here. So uh, who, do, who knows what the shelf life of this YouTube is going to be, but uh, I think you're looking at some kind of a guilty verdict here. Uh, we'll see, but I, 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 I would be surprised if you're um, if you're not looking at at least a guilty of murder three, maybe murder two. Um, so anyway, stay tuned. We'll do another update when the verdict comes down. Thanks, guys.